Hey everybody, uh, thanks for tuning in again, or if it's your first time, this is my second video. Uh, last week I picked up the 511 Tactical Range Ready Bag. Uh, it is listed as 24 inches long, 16 inches wide, and 10 inches deep, and normally retails for about 100 bucks. Uh, at a couple different places, including Amazon. Uh, I picked mine up on sale. Um, it was uh, the 9-11 weekend. Uh, they had a sale, 5-11 Tactical, reduced their prices on a bunch of stuff. And I wound up picking it up for 79 bucks. So, they have a couple different bags. Uh, I saw this at a local store. They got the Range Ready and their Range Qualifier. And one thing I had noticed in the picture, and that's why I'm making this video, because in the picture, it looks like a very light colored bag, almost like a like a tan bag. And they call it sandstone. And and if you look on the online, they have two different colors of the bag. They have the sandstone color and they have black. And to be honest, everybody has black, and I just I don't like black. For some reason, I just don't like black bags. So, I, I took a chance, because when I was looking at the pictures, they had, uh, they show the gun, and the gun is black, and the difference in color between the black and the, the, the picture here doesn't look like it's a huge difference. And that led me to believe that maybe it was actually darker than the pictures were showing. And so I took a chance, I ordered the, the sandstone, and it came in, and as you could see, in fact, my carpet is a tan color. You can see that the bag is actually more of a green color than it is um, a sand color, which is excellent because if it was tan, it would get dirty so quick. In fact, uh, here's a pair of shorts. Let me throw in the picture here. These are khaki shorts, and you could see the difference in color between them. So that's kind of, um, it's more of an olive color, uh, green color versus a uh, tan or sandstone color. The other thing is, let me throw my, this pack on here. You can see it kind of, it's dark enough to where it actually, the color almost is similar to some of the browns in a, in a marine pack that I got here. Uh, you can see that. So. It really is a very nice color. And so let me, uh, there's a couple other features that I want to show you in this thing. And basically what it is, the magazine pocket here, you, you get a multitude of pockets. You got, you got one big wide pocket on the end of the thing here. You got two more, turn this around. You got two more on this side of the bag. And then, I mean, right now they're just, they're empty. The zippers go halfway down, which is pretty nice. And then on this end, on the opposite end, you have a, it's kind of, I don't know if this is insulation or just padding, but there's a water bottle holder. And it fits a, uh, this is a 17 ounce water bottle and it fits it pretty good. It might, uh, it might fit something a little bit bigger. I kind of wish that they had, made the pocket bigger so that you can actually put like a Gatorade bottle or something in there, Powerade. That would be awesome. Uh, then next to it, it has another pouch. Uh, once again, zips halfway down. A perfect size for maybe uh, your headphones or your, uh, your ear protection, I should say. Earmuffs, whatever. But on the, on the magazine side, you actually have a, the pocket here unzips completely on the side to the point where it'll lay flat in fact let me uh there we go and it'll lay completely flat there and i have a couple different magazines in here just so you can kind of get an idea of size there's a sig sour magazine right here from a p226 uh nine millimeter then there's a uh a cz 75 uh, long or like 18 19 round magazine right here and then there's a um, this is a, uh, a 45 caliber full-size eight round magazine so as you can see there's plenty of room I mean these things are actually a little bit loose in here 
Uh, and they're not they're not elastic. They're not elastic at all. They're the same canvas that the rest of the bag is made out of. So they're not going to stretch out over time and like just they're not going to be bad. They're not, they're not going to stretch out and get loose and start hanging all over the place. They're canvas. They're they're pretty well. They were nicely stitched. R really good deal there. So I just wanted to point that out. And in here, there's also this pocket. Now the pocket itself. Because it's stitched on the side and it doesn't expand at all, I'm not sure if I'd actually put anything in there, but you could put a pistol in there if you wanted to. Now the other thing that I wanted to show you is the webbing here. Let me, in fact, let me pull the... So it's got a really nice shoulder pad. In fact, the shoulder pad, you can actually remove it. It's got Velcro. It's held on by these Velcro straps, one, two, three of them. And you can remove it. And so you could probably wash this, throw in the washer if you wanted. It gets all sweaty, whatever it is. And then it's got the strap. The strap is plenty long enough. Really heavy duty strap. In fact, let me grab my pet marine pack again really quick. Same width strap. In fact, almost the same color, but same width, same feel to it, same, it almost feels like the same weight. I mean, this one might be a little bit heavier weight, but it's the same, same width as you can see. So, um, it's a pretty, it's a pretty strong, pretty strong strap. Metal eyelets, this is metal, stitched in here really good. The only thing is this piece right here, this piece is plastic. Uh, don't ask me why, but it is. However, when you fill the bag up, when you fill the bag up, it really, it's easier for me to actually carry with the handles than it is throwing this thing on my shoulder. When there's a bunch of weight on it, the shoulder, even though it's padded, this strap here, it kind of, it really needs to have more padding on it, to be honest with you. Now, the other thing, too, is you could feel down inside the bag that this strap here extends through the bag and it gets stitched in the bottom of the bag right about here. And it does that on both sides, it gets stitched on the bag at the bottom. It does not extend all the way, does not extend all the way across the whole bottom of the bag. Now, on the other hand, the side straps here, these things go down the side of the bag and the bottom of the bag, you can see, goes all the way and they're stitched. Everywhere they're stitching, these things are stitched on here. Sorry about that. Everywhere, everywhere they're stitching, these things are stitched. And on the bottom of the bag, as you can see, there's one, two, three, four. There's five little, like, uh, pads so that you don't wear the heck out of the bottom of the bag. Now, on the bottom of the actual bottom of the big bag here, the bottom of the bag, or it's not solid. However, the inside pull-out bag does have a hard bottom on it, which, when you have it inside the big bag, stiffens everything up. And so let me show you that. So we, we got the handle out of the way and everything else. In fact, it's got really nice zipper pulls and stuff, and in the middle, you just pull it across. It's got Velcro sealing that up. And in the middle, you can see I got... put some ammo in here so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. The middle pouch, in fact, between the actual pouch here, you got the handles where you could pick up this pouch and pull it out. And the same thing, the handles, the stitching, the, 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 the handle material goes all the way down and around the bag to the other handle. So you're not, you're not going to rip this out. You're not going to break the stitching and rip it apart. This middle bag has zippers. Let me see if I can get it in there. You got a zipper so you could put something in here, a pistol or something like that. It's got one on the other side. And then the inside of the bag here, you can see there's a, a pouch on the inside. There's room between the removable pouch and the inside of the bag on both sides. And then on the other side of the bag, you still have a padded area. So you can easily fit an arsenal in here. I mean, you, you could fit a half a dozen handguns in here, no problem. Now, with the center bag, and this is what's pretty cool, it comes with this little, it comes with this little pouch. 
got a mesh bottom on it and a drawstring enclosure which really doesn't work all that great it doesn't really seal it up that good but it's nice because you can either put um, you can put your ammo in there like if you reload or something and you don't buy boxes you could you could just dump bulk ammo in there um, as you can see I got three these are 45 caliber Dillon uh, boxes they fit perfectly in here the nine millimeter Dillon boxes fit perfectly uh, going this way uh, or they'll fit that way too and when I called 511 I asked him I said hey can can I buy more of more of these pouches because I envisioned myself maybe picking up nine millimeter 45s I figured hey I'm gonna put all my extra brass in these things and I can sort them at the range well guess what they don't sell any extra pouches but what I did find ta -da, at the Home Depot was this Husky, they call it a utility sack. It's actually like nine inches tall, but it has a really nice drawstring closure on it. You can see that and then there's a, a drawstring on each side of the bag there. And it's really, it's got a nice solid ring around the top it's not going to collapse or anything but and this is the cool part this thing fits perfectly right in there and it's got a handle on the top of it so you could just pick your stuff up if you had this full of ammo or cases or brass whatever it is you could just pick that up this thing was six bucks five dollars 97 cents and look at that it fits perfectly right in the bag so I give, you know, I don't know how much 5.11 would charge for an extra one of these things. But this thing from Home Depot, six bucks. Gold. So we'll put that back in there. And we'll do that. Um, that's pretty much it for this bag. All the features. I mean, it's got the nice handle, the zipper pulls. Um, I wish they were a little bit heavier duty. Uh, the zippers, I wish they were more like... More like that. <laughs> you can kind of see the difference. I, I wish they were like these heavy duty, you know, with the... Uh, they have some, you know, with the bigger zippers and, and the nice handle, the pulls. Um, that would be really awesome. But uh, for 99 bucks, uh, or when I got mine, it was 79 bucks on sale. Uh, I really can't complain. This bag is awesome. The color, love it. It's not going to show the dirt. Uh, it's really nice, these handles got the velcro around the middle here sorry about that the velcro goes around the middle so both the handles get bundled together and it i mean you know it picks up really nice there's i don't know four or five hundred rounds of ammo in there and uh it uh it works great so just kind of wanted to give uh give you a little bit of heads up on what this bag is about some of the little features in there and uh this neat little little thing i found at home depot that fits perfectly right in that thing so uh, thank you for watching.